Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld where we are currently just uh, really working on our escape ship. Yay! So let's uh, let them carry on and do that. And currently I'm allowing them I think on the right hand side of the map because the left hand side is full of horrible boomer loops and nasty things so yep they're all up there. Oh, boomalopes, stop exploding. That's a tame one, right? Yeah, okay. What exploded? Nothing's on fire, so that's good. As far as I can tell. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there was a boomaloop here. Let's hope all the other boomaloops don't catch light and explode too. Oops, I think they have. Oh, we could do with fixing the base, couldn't we? That would be really handy. What stone have we got just now? Not a lot of anything really, but probably the most we've got is marble, so I'll just uh, plug it in with a bit of marble. Structure. Marble wall there, please. That can be your job. And then everyone will have to go out the proper door. Yes, yeah, so of course, there's a raid coming in. Oh, did it say they dropped right on top of me? Yeah, it did. <gasps> Run away, Maro! Run in there. Meta Celine. Um, draft you. I'm going to get you in here. Go on, run, Maro. Run. Run. Right, Lumi. Oh, why do these dead colonist ghosts keep coming back every time I reload the game? Cathra! Oh, you haven't got any weapons, that's no good. Nia, you got a knife. Harry's cleaning. Oh, everyone's busy. Why too busy for you lot? Metaseline. Oh, fire it split. You're a good shot. I think you're a better shot than Splitters. Splitters beating up the piggies. Oh, Harry, what are you doing, man? Oh, no, the boomalopes. Oh. Okay. Harry, I would say a good thing for you to do would be to get back to the medical bay. Marrow, go there. And fire at Scott. But if Scott looks like he's gonna. Yeah. Right, Cathra. You go and do whatever you were doing. Nia. Melee attack. No, melee attack Lumi, actually. But Dumnix. Fire at Scott. Now fire at Drake, because he's closer. And also you fire at Drake. Come on, Nia, you can do it. Strumfex, go help her. 
I don't care that you don't have a weapon. Just go and help. They're all running away. Okay, Nia, you can go and go in the hospital. So can Maro. You guys just go sort yourselves out. Oh, we got a new gun out of it. And some more clothes. So that's quite handy. Nia, did you get just bruises mostly? That's fine. Maro, what did you get? Bruises. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind that. Oh, seriously, dudes. I don't need you right now, so... Kristen, just, you know what? Just go let them out. Like, seriously. I don't need them as part of my colony. I don't need them as prisoners. So they can just go away. Oh, they destroyed the door. <sighs> so annoying. What do we actually have that we can replace the door with? What are those? Granite. Okay, we're going to have a granite door then. Granite door. There. And now everyone's sleeping, so I really hope no one decides to, like, come over in the night and start messing with us. Stealing our steel. How much? Oh, 345 steel left. Have they actually put any more into here? Yes, they have. They built a whole other one. So we need in about 1,500 now. Just to finish the caskets. Oh, Lumi's dead. You know what, though? Because this is Alpha 13, I can just kill Lumi. I can just, like, beat him to death. Oh, he just died. Great. Yeah, that's cool. I don't mind that. Raider scum. Okay, so everyone's just, like, re recovering, really. We need to just, um, plug up the, the gaps in the base, so... Maro, if you could... No materials. For the door. Do we use them all for something else? Because I'm fairly certain there's like granite blocks there. I'm going to have to make it out of steel, aren't I? It's so annoying. What a waste. It's the only thing I actually have is steel. Cargo pods. They'd better be steel. No, they're capybara meat. Oh well, I suppose it'll keep us fed. Considering we can't grow anything anymore. Okay guys, yeah, go get the meat and then go and get more steel. Or do you? Neo and Kristen need treatment. Okay then. I order you to get more steel. And also to just bring in any um, any like steel um, chunks or anything like that as well. So that all. All those please. No. All those please and those that'll do for now I don't want them hauling too much or they'll uh, possibly get caught out but they're all going to haul that back and then hopefully that should all be or oh, they'll do a bit of mining or whatever they want to do and that will hopefully be all broken down into some more steel, which will be good times. We might need to mine some components as well. We've also got a trade caravan coming in, which, fingers crossed, will have something tasty. Like steel. 
Nom nom nom. Like they've got muffalos. Muffalos are not tasty. That's a rubbish trap system, by the way. I need to get rid of that trap, really. Okay, so Maro, you are a person who we. I don't know why Maro is the person who always does the trading. But never mind. So. Got quite a lot of weapons that they can trade us. Power armor, armor vests, and things like that. Kevlar helmet. Lots of cool things to stop us uh, getting hurt. And components that we can buy. Buy all the components we can. But no real, no steel or anything like that. So it would cost us a lot of money to buy things just to break them down. So that's fine. We'll stick with the components. Now, did that notify us twice, or did we get two traders in a row? Oh, <gasps> got two traders in a row. But let's see what Mo has to offer. More components. Cats and pigs. Psychic Soothe Pulsar. A one use artifact which gives a temporary mood boost to everyone on the map. Wow, that's cool. And nothing else. So we'll just again buy all the components. Components are going to probably be necessary for some things. So. Colonist needs treatment. Nia. But Nia only has bruises. Like they will heal on their own. I'm fairly certain. And Kristen has a bad mood. Why do you have a bad mood? Because your friend died. Oh, you're slightly better. It lacks a bionic body part. Okay. Probably have too many like dead bodies on the map and stuff. As soon as Nia's researched the ship engine, though, we'll start uh, working on... 261. So we're getting there with the steel. Uh, Metaseline is in a poor mood. Nia and Christian both need medical treatment. Why, why does. Yay! Anti master propulsion is done. So now, Devil Strand, we don't need any of that. Don't need 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 that. Cool. Infestation! A bug hive has arrived! Yay! Just what we need right now. Mm. That's annoying. It's very annoying. Because they can get through. Okay, so, Marrow. Um... draft you and I'm going to put you in this room. Nia, you only have a knife. Okay, who else has a gun? Harry, I'm going to put you by this door. That's about all I can do. That's my base is so wrecked right now. I could put someone in the hospital door as well, actually. Kristen would be good for that. So the Kristen apparently needs medical treatment for sleeping sickness. Oh, okay. Do you know what? You just go... I'll undraft you. You just go to bed. Okay. Probably, like, over here would be better, though. Uh, who else has a gun? Meta Celine. She's a bit stressed out, but... She can still go here. Okay. So they're all in position. So Harry, I would like you just to go there and start shooting. Maybe not quite that fast. That wasn't what I wanted. 
That splurlipede's barely injured. The mega spider's still healthy. And Harry's taken probably some cuts now. Yes. It's annoying. Right, so metacilline. Go there. And shoot a couple of times. Ah, oh, this sucks. This sucks so much. There's no control here whatsoever. Ah, but it did get them to go away. Cool. So, I can go a little bit further. And Marrow and Harry get back in the corridor and start shooting. Hopefully you'll actually hit something at some point. That would be really handy. Harry, get back. I apparently can't, uh, oh, I didn't have Harry selected, that's why. Marrow, get back. I did a fair amount of damage. Cool, my metacilline. There are so many of those spiders as well. Um, maybe I'll get Strumfex or someone to actually pick up a weapon of some description a club or something and get um nia has got a knife Kafra, you go pick up a knife or something so everyone's actually got guns that'd be really cool oh. this game does not make it easy So he's bleeding out everywhere now. Let's see. Let's see how many shots she can get off on this thing. Because the mega scarabs in that aren't too bad. If we could get them to come through the door or something. Right. Mara and Harry. Back there. Now Strumfex um, is off to get a weapon still, I think. Cool. We are starting to kill stuff now. Come on. Mario's doing a good job with his shotgun. Get back, guys. Now then. Metacilline. You still can't really do an awful lot, unfortunately. Get around to that bedroom, that would be cool. Problem is, there's too many of them to lure. That's the problem. See if you can get a couple of pot shots. No, apparently not. Oh, Moe's going to have a, chow, a, a go at it. And the cat. Cool. Very cool. Oh, all the villagers, the visitors are helping us. Okay, let's get in there. dead. Quick Metasleen, get in there. This is so cool. I do feel a bit bad for the guys that are fleeing there, but Poor mood. What a surprise. Okay. So Metasleen. We keep shooting. Hopefully drawing them up to us. That one's injured. Right, Metasleen, get back in there. And while they go up there, Harry and Marrow can do their thing. Cool, that one's dead. Metacelline. 
while that one's chasing Strumfex, you can shoot at it. Oh, one of their pet wargs is dead. Okay, get back. Come closer. Come closer. Oh, not that close. Cool, Madeline, back over there. And then hopefully I can let everybody go and do their stuff. I would, if I were you, get back in there. And these guys can go to the doors there. Some facts. Honestly. Right, meta. Shoot at it while it sleeps. Oh, did it die? Yes. Cool. Everyone, undraft. Okay, that was, uh, that made a total mess of the base, unfortunately. And it killed some of the guys from the other faction, but at least it didn't kill our guys. Okay, so, Strumfex, you are okay, so you can, um, melee attack the hive. Nia, you are also okay. You can also go and melee attack this hive. We've had two hives. I don't want the hives anywhere near my base. And then someone can stick those things in the freezer. Problem is, who is the doctor now? Strumfax. Okay, Strumfex, you can stop doing that and you can go and treat Metaseline. And then Metaseline can treat everybody else. It, there's a day before the, the hive becomes active again, so... Come back, Cathra, you can go. Mally attack the hive. And then hopefully everybody will clean. Bad will. Relations with Thatcher's Valley have broken down and they are now hostile to us. That's kind of okay. That was just bad luck because they got in the way of the bug hive thing. Um, what I could maybe do is phone them and give them money. See how bad the factions are. Minus 86. Oh, 88. Wow. That is so bad. So, there's two factions there that I can improve relations with. That's definitely something that I'll be looking at in my next um, playthrough. Is if I can improve... Because if you can improve your relations with a, a particular faction, then... That'll be like, you know, you could have it, instead of having like, two out of five people like you, you could have up to sort of three out of five people like you. So, that would definitely help, because I think the the random generator of what's sent to you, I, I would imagine they just pick what faction is coming to see you, and if they're hostile, you're more likely to get a raid. So there we go. Yeah, they are doing really well with this now. They're nearly done on the sixth one. So seven and eight need to be done. And then we can work on the rest of it. So we can work on um, the engine next. So that's another 400 steel, 200 plasteel and six components. But we have the plasteel and the components. So I can go on the side there. I will imagine that there's two... But there won't be two. There'll just be one. And then that's another 800 steel. And that's the computer core. I'll stick that on the front. But I'm not going to do that. 
until the very, very end. And I have 800 steel. And the reason for that is if this whole thing gets blown up, I could make everything else again. But that computer core, that AI core that I've got in my storage, sitting there waiting. I'm not getting one of those again in a hurry, so... So I always wonder with the tribe what the win condition is. Because it's like, well, with the tribe... Surely they don't want to leave. Or maybe they do. I don't know. But you'd think if they were born on that planet or whatever... That they wouldn't want to leave. Okay, well let's uh, speed things up a bit because we've done the, the fighting now. Hopefully people will start hauling these guys to the refrigerator. Oh, they're still building. Building away. It would be really handy. Oh, Harry's got an infection now. How's Harry got an infection? He didn't go to the hospital when he should have done. Stupid Harry. Okay, Metaseline. You're going to help him? Good. We've got a good hospital there, so... We do have someone that's just going to clean up, though. Everyone's on one for cleaning, but people have got too much to do. So, I'm going to say that Cathra should clean before anything else. You go and clean up. I think Strumfex cleans a lot as well. There is a lot of, a lot of cleaning to do. Also a lot of butchering to do and a lot of hauling to do now because of all of that. And that's put me behind with the uh, building of the ship probably by a good episode. A bug infestation is not nice. There you go Kafra, you get all of that sorted out. I'm being a bit lax as well with like the rebuilding of the base and all that sort of thing. Um, and that is just because oh, I love watching them clean up. Don't know why. Um, but it's just because I, I know that they're going to be going off into the stars soon. So, how are we doing here? I suppose I could rebuild their wall. Cargo pods! Yay! Iguana skin. That's very boring. Okay, well, it's just this little bit of the base here now to clean up. I'm sure Catherine will get to that in the morning. Oh, and up here. And there's a load of rotting corpses on the floor in the dumping stockpile. Yeah. Not great overall. They have brought in and smelted like all of that slag. Oh no, there's still some left out here that they need to get as well. Things are kind of rotting at the moment. It's not good. That might be why they're getting infections and stuff. Well, we'll check on Harry's infection. Make sure. Oh no! No, you didn't need that. Major untreated infection now as well. Great. Because now I'm going to have to bash you. Um, Kristen actually would be a good one. Because Kristen has a gun. So if I get her to melee attack Harry. Same with Maro. Maro, you can go and melee attack Harry. And then we'll put Harry in bed. And he can get over whatever it is. See, this is another thing in Alpha 14. That I've been noticing. Is that when you knock someone out and they recover, they don't go back to normal. They still have their bad mood. There. Where's Cathera? What is, she, is she cleaning still? Or is she just... Yeah, she's cleaning. So much cleaning to do. She's like, oh my goodness. I can't keep up with all this cleaning. There he is. Now no longer incapable of walking. Oh, all the blood's getting cleaned up. Oh, this is so good. Harry is at risk of death. 
Did you get treated? For your in extreme infection? Um, poor mood, starvation, severe illness, needing treatment. Kristen needs treatment. Is that for the sleeping sickness again? No, just for bruises. I don't treat people for bruises around here. Well, if Harry survives, then that's great. If not, then that's one less pod we have to make. <laughs> I don't think you have to send everybody. Harry needs rescue. No, he doesn't. He just needs to sleep it off. Harry, where are you? Are you dead? Oh, you're being rescued. Okay, cool. Right, let's see the health now. 95, 96. 97. 98. 99. He survived. Could do with feeding him. Uh, so the infection's gone, the mental state's gone, and that mental state is gone. Cool. Need a research project. No, we don't. I'll be chasing any of that rubbish. Now Harry can just recover from all his wounds, and we now have six done. A seventh is nearly done. And the 8th is just being started. Then we'll need another 400 there. Another 800 there. Now, how much have we got left in this little pile? Two there. I'm sure we've got other little uh, areas with steel in them, I'm pretty sure. way over there. That's miles away. There. That's a good one. Let's get them to go mine those out. They're all asleep though. Is that Metacelline who's being a good doctor? Nothing like a good doctor. Steel is hoped to getting made from the steel slag as well. Otherwise, what's the point in having all of that uh, energy going into the electric smelter? No point at all. I should really start selling the pigs to traders. Although we're getting through this food. We're really getting through the food. Idle colonists as well. New lovers, Harry and Kristen. Woo. Why would they be idle? Everyone can mine. Who's in a daze now? Catherine. Why are you in a daze? What's her needs? Um... Broken thoughts. She's got food, rest, and joy, beauty. She's not very comfortable. Most of those were okay. It must be modifiers. Right, that's all the steel up there gone now. And all the steel there is gone. That is going to literally be the steel down here now. I hope that no one gets eaten by a lynx while they're trying to get to the uh, the area. Loads of plasteel on the map. It's like, I don't need plasteel, I need steel. Proper steel. I don't know if the cougars are going to like decide that they hate us or whether they just uh, generally stay out of the way. We'll see. Kristen, I really wouldn't... like. That's not a very good place to lie, really, is it? Oh, 
I don't know. Some slag chunks all around there that need to be hauled. But I think we're kind of out of time for the episode now, so um, I'm going to leave it there. We are now very close. We have one more to do. So we've got about 400 steel to get for that. About 400 odd steel to get for that. And then another 800 steel to get for the um, AI. And then we're done. So that's going to be great. So anyway, that's the end of the episode. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, then please leave me a like. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, then I can let you know when the new videos are out. I uh, hope to see you all next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.